It's Easter Sunday. The military calls it L Day. Many think it might be their last day on Earth. The morning light reveals a stunning sight. The largest amphibious assault ever mounted in World War II's Pacific Theater. 1,500 ships, half a million men. Many had never even heard of Okinawa. They had heard of Normandy, Saipan, and Iwo Jima, where the enemy had mowed down Americans by the thousands as they came ashore. Their briefing was matter of fact and frightening. Expect dug-in defenses on the hills above the beaches. Expect a storm of repelling firepower. Expect an 80% casualty rate. Americans have limited intelligence going in. Aerial reconnaissance is lacking. Maps are inaccurate. They can only guess at what lies ahead. The Japanese consider Okinawa home turf. They are preparing to defend it with more than 100,000 men and a fanatical devotion to their cause. They won't let the Americans in without a fight. On April 1st, the invasion starts. But instead of enemy fire, they meet an eerie silence. They move cautiously, expecting a trap. But there's no sign of the enemy. Word gets back to the fleet. There is no one to fight. Subsequent waves of troops come ashore. They calmly grab their gear and walk upright onto the beach. Within hours, Thousands of men unload a city's worth of infrastructure onto the beaches of Okinawa. Many keep their guns stowed and never have to dig a foxhole. Instead of the Japanese army, Americans find only civilians. Okinawans are an isolated people. Mainland Japanese consider them inferior, little more than rustic peasants. But they have stories to tell. Stories of terrifying propaganda commanding them to avoid capture at all costs. Stories of Okinawan boys taken and forced into military service. Stories that reveal the Japanese army is out there, somewhere.